Hello there. This is Jay with Web App Zero, and I am going to do a quick video on resolving a merge conflict with Magit, and I'm using Space Max. So we're I'm inside of the notes file. Um, over here on the left hand side of the screen, you can see when I ran git branch l, I have a, a master branch and a writing slash intro branch at the bottom of the list there. And uh, I want to be in master and merge in um, this writing intro branch. So I will hop on over to my Emacs buffer and I'm going to press space GS. That will get me into Magit. You can look up the commands um, uh, for the function call to get in Magit uh, on the Magit uh, wiki if you're not using Space Max. And I'm going to uh, look here and see, okay, yes, I'm in the master branch. That's where my head is. And I'm going to press M for merge. And then under actions, I see that M is an option down here. So I will press M again. And then I can select my origin, uh, my writing slash intro branch that I want to merge in. And it's saying that it failed. If I want to, I can press the dollar sign. And oops, let's see here. Um, it's telling me that there's a merge conflict. Let me press Q to get out of there. And so that looks uh, appropriate. There's a conflict. So now I want to resolve that conflict. Um, let's see here. Uh, that's not it. Uh, let's see if I press um, I think I press E here, okay, and it says, failed to read your mind. <laughs> Do you want to commit, arrange, or resolve V? That was what I was looking for, so let me, let me press V, and it's asking me to uh, resolve the notes file. I'll hit enter to select the notes file. This pops me into a three-pane buffer setup where, our window setup, where we have the top left is the A buffer. Notice that says mine. And uh, and then uh, on B, this is other. So mine is sort of, well, that's the branch that I was in when I initiated this. And then we have um, this third window, C, down here. And if you need to jump between these windows, you can use the standard uh, commands to jump between windows in Space Max. Uh, that's... Um, space 1, 2, and 3, respectively. Uh, and space 4 gets you down into the Magit buffer where you can, or the EDIF buffer, where you can type question mark to get some help. And I like to do that uh, when I'm first learning something, just to see the options, all the options that I have, so I can learn. And uh, here we see commands for manipulating, um, now, it's interesting because I don't notice... Well, here, the most important ones are the P and the N here. And, oh, okay. So, you can see buffer X here. So, X, copy buffer X's region uh, to C. So, C is the window uh, in Emacs where it's going to show us... Um, this is going to be the merged file. So, all right, if I if I come down here and into the Magit buffer, put my cursor down in there and, and press N, that's going to jump me to the first, to the next, uh, and first, in this case, conflict. And I see that on the left, uh, I have just a star and a bullet, and on the right, there's a space above it. So I like the one on the left. That's the A buffer. So all I have to do is press the A key. And you'll notice that the C buffer down here just changed to reflect that choice that I made. In this case, this is the only conflict that I had. If I had more, I could press N and just keep going down and pressing A or B. And this is, we're just working with text, which is so great about Emacs. So I can always just 
if I wanted to jump to my uh, C buffer, uh, in this case, space 3, jump there, and I can type in whatever I want here to get the buffer to look just like I want. And once I'm done, I can hop back down here to my EDIF buffer and press Q, and it'll say, quit this EDIF diff session, yes. And it says that the conflict resolution has finished. Do I want to save the file? Yes, I do. Then I hop back out here, and um, it kind of drops me back into where I was. And so um, here I can just kind of, uh, whoops, let's see. Uh, I, I quit that, and that's fine. I can get back in there, space GS, and now I can say I want to stage the changes, and it's noticed that the notes is different. So, yeah, I want to stage that. And then I can commit it, C, and C to commit. And let's see, it says when done with buffer, type comma C. All right, comma C, and git is finished. And that is all there is to it. So um, now I can see that my master is uh, at a new uh, change, merge branch, writing intro, and, I, and I've had a successful merge. And so I really like, there's a lot of nifty little power tools that I've researched ahead. And, you know, a lot of people that are, I uh, would classify as, or qualify as a uh, more power user than where I'm at right now are doing some really powerful things with Magit. And so I think it's pretty awesome. Um, and I'm looking forward to just having the something to kind of guide me through because Magit will sort of walk you through some little processes where the command line is sort of like uh, you kind of got to know what your workflow is going to be. And anyway, uh, I'd look forward to someone doing some more training uh, for us folks who are a little a bit more in the novice category. And uh, other than that, I'll just wish you a great day and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.